all right my people welcome back onto this channel this is another one reaching us right now well onto this one chief sunday Igbo finally blows out onto his arrest in benin republic this is another serious one well what i would have done if i knew they wanted to arrest me at benin sunday Igbo reveals all right my people the news in details well, according to a news that was published by the Punch newspaper online this morning, it was reported that the Udua People's Republic agitator Chief Sunday, a day more popularly known as Sunday Igboho, uh, have revealed what he would have done if knew that they wanted to arrest him at Kajon Airport Kotonou in Benin Republic. Recall that Sunday Ibuho was attacked at his residence in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital, by the men of the Department of State Services on the 1st of July 2021, but he was able to escape as people believed that he escaped because he has metaphysical powers. However, after his escape, he was arrested by the Interpol at Kajon, Kajon Airport in Kutonum Benin Republic around 8 p.m. in the night on the 19th of July 2021 and then has been in the country till now. Well, while he was reacting to this, when a punch correspondent visited him and then interviewed him at his house in Benin Republic, Igboho claimed that he would he would not have traveled together with his wife Rockbo. He said he would have told her to travel first because before him. Sunday Igboho said, my wife, according to him, I quote, my wife was detained at the Kajan airport for more than two hours and uh, the people were ready to hold on to her if I do not show up there. I eventually showed up and then uh, the security agent that detained her uh, handcuffed my hands and uh, legs immediately. If I knew that would happen, I would not have allowed her to follow me to the airport. She had already obtained my traveling document from the German government and then I would have asked her to go separately, but God knew how everything went that day. My wife and I would have traveled separately if I knew of plans to arrest me at benin airport Igbo says all right my people this is another strong one hmm. well chief son Igbo had actually re reacted to his arrest well the thing is uh, he said something in this passage that i actually picked which is god knows best hmm. and uh, that's exactly what it is if only it was only god that knew what he did because for somebody like chief son Igbo who about um, 300 DSS invaded his compound. You know, when you are, your house is being invaded, meaning you were not informed. <clears throat> and this set of people did not even come with the you know, information that was gathered. They did not come like to just arrest. They came to destroy and kill. That's what actually happened. But you no, know, for someone, some somebody like that to have escaped that kind of you no know, incident. That is to tell you that there is God behind him. That is to tell you that God has you no know, something, you no, know, to tell the world about you know how he has helped the Yoruba people. That is why I always say that you no, know, all these ones that uh, the Nigerian government is just trying to like say they want to arrest Sunday Bubu. I think that kind of person should just be respected. I think Sunday Bubu is somebody that uh, you no, know, they should just forget about and they even if possible apologize to. That's what I've seen to that because for somebody to invade, no, but who can? Who who is that man? that can escape that kind of invasion if not that there is god behind such a person that's why i always tell my people that no sunday that you are saying forget it that this man are just was just talking 
No, some people, sometimes some people will tell you that this guy talks too much. No, to me, I don't believe that man talks too much. Simply because, no, the kind of God God has given to him. But in fact, I believe that if it were to be some other people that you no know, had that kind of God, that kind of grace, they would have messed it up, like messed it up. This man is not proud. Look at the way he escaped. Do you think it was by his power? It was just God that wants to prove to the world, prove to the enemies that this man, I have sent him to rescue a lot of people, his own children. You've forgotten that you know, everyone that God created, God created them well. And God can never afford to know, know, lost his people to some mediocres. That is why he had raised somebody. He, you know, he hardened his heart that, no, you are going to be sent. I was so shocked. We got a lot of news while Chief Sunday Bowo then was in detention. A lot of people would call him, even while in detention, he would still tell them that no going back, you know, it is all no going back, that either they like it or not. Even the affairs that called him, they were like, ah, this one that we were even saying that, okay, if this man can just tell them that, okay, he will not do again, that he should forget so that he can be released. But the reverse had been the case. The man had been telling them that, make or not forget. If he die, make him die. Say, now, nah, no going back. That is to tell you that there is God in it. Well, when I tell people that Yoruba nation, the agitation and all that, it was not that this set of people actually planned it like a long time ago. But all of a sudden, you no, know, there is an adage that says, when you push you know, a goat to the wall, hmm, the goat will react. You understand? But this time around, the people have been pushed to the wall. They are not only, in fact, they are not only reacting. <laughs> they are not only reacting because they were definitely going to do more than that simply because there is God in it. That's one thing I am so sure of. Well, Chief Sonic Bull said it then that, well, though some set of people will sacrifice, will be sacrificed for this. He had already said it then. I was not like, ah, why? Why would it be like that? But now we have seen it. A lot of people have been kidnapped. Some set of people have been sacrificed already for this movement. That's to tell you that the agitation will be actualized. He said that some set of people will be sacrificed for this movement, but at the end, the Yoruba nation will be actualized, and then we are just seeing results of what you know, he had said in the past. We are seeing the results, because right now, the 5 million petition had been reached, and it's not even passed. So what are we talking about? That is to tell you that there is God in it. Well, anything that anybody is saying right now, Fati, the truth is that um, God knows best. But Chief Sunday Bo has said that if he knew, he wouldn't have traveled with his wife. But at the end of the day, he said something that, well, God knows best. God knew why it happened in that manner. Well, a lot of things, though, have been said. Well, a lot of things are happening in the country. Then my advice for my people is that everyone needs to keep praying. Hmm. You have to be very prayerful, though, because hmm, waiting this up right now, eh? No be small something. You know. All right, my people, this is what it is right now. On to this one. What more can we say? Me well. Let me have your own take on this, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates. If you are new on this channel, all right. Thanks and God bless.